How's it going everyone and welcome back to LT3D. When I first unboxed my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, I was supplied with some support W or what's now known as support for PLA filament. I've never used this filament before and today I thought I'd test it out to answer the question, does the support W filament for PLA actually work? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so to test this filament, I'm going to print two files twice. One with the support W filament and the other with just general PLA for supports. The two files I have chosen are a Lego cup drink holder and a dragon. I chose these two files as one file has long overhangs perfect for testing the smooth bottom finish claims and the other is a more complex model that has hard to reach places that need support. Overall, the prints came out looking fantastic. One thing to note is that it can be a little difficult to get all of the support for PLA off your prints. You can see in these images that there is still some support filament there, and this is after about 10 to 15 minutes of me trying to remove it all. I can say though, that depending on the model you are printing, the support for PLA can in fact be useful. With long overhangs, the support for PLA significantly improves the bottom surface of the print, giving it a very smooth finish. With small hard to reach places such as the mouth of this dragon, it was significantly easier to get the support filament out, leaving minimal scarring. So essentially the pros are a better bottom surface and easy removal of supports from small and hard to reach places. The cons are essentially the price, as it costs twice the amount of a normal one kilogram spool of PLA and you can only order it as a 500 gram spool. If you're after a more cost effective solution to give you the same or similar results, then you may be interested to know that you can use PETG filament instead of the support filament, which from Bamboo Lab is the same price as a one kilogram spool of PLA filament. You can also do this in reverse uh, with PETG and using PLA as the support interface as PLA and PETG do not stick to each other. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the support for PLA filament in the comments down below and whether you've used it yourself. Uh, and as always, happy printing.